Hi Barton Bees, this is Miss D saying hello. Hope everyone is doing well and I hope to see you guys all soon. Hi Edison students. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy and your families as well. I miss you all so much. I miss your little faces and your smiling faces and I just, I really miss you all. And I will uh, see you soon. I look forward to seeing you and you have a wonderful summer, okay? Love you all. Good luck, Miss Amador. We hope you win the game show. And to all of our Franklin Scholars, we miss you so much and hope you're all doing well. Hi, classified staff. I miss you. Move on to the next Go. question. Woo! Hello, Anaheim Elementary Familia. Uh, my name's Hennessy. I'm an instructional aide at Thomas Jefferson Elementary. Hey, hey. I just want to give a huge shout out to all our classified employees out there. Um, and to remind you that you are essential to our teachers, our students, and to our district. Therefore, take this time to just take a deep breath, remain strong, and pour onto yourselves more patience, love, and dedication. So when we come back, we are ready to pour onto others. With that said, thank you so much for all your hard work and hope to see you soon. Take care. Hi, I just want to say thank you, Lincoln Lions, um, to staff, teachers, admin. Um, thank you for all that you've done. Um, I know it's hard work and we appreciate you. Thank you. Hey, Lincoln staff, we miss you and I, we appreciate everything you guys have done for us this year. I know it's been hard, but we will get through this and hope for a better year. Miss you all and hope to see you soon. Bye. Hi Lincoln Lions, this is Claudia from the front office. Just want to say how proud I am for working so hard at home. I know it's difficult, but can't wait to see you guys soon. Bye. Hello, Lincoln Lions, I hope you guys are having a safe and fun day. I know it's hard, but we will all get through this. We miss you and hope to see you all next year. Bye. Good afternoon, Loera. How are you all doing? Hope you're all doing well and staying safe during this time. Wanted to wish you luck. Hope to see everybody soon. Hi, Madison Scholars. It does not matter how lonely you go, as long as you don't stop. No importa que tan lento avances, siempre y cuando no te detengas. Hey, is this thing on? How's it going, Knights? This is Mr. G or BHA, and everyone at MAN just wanted to say how much we truly miss each and every single one of you, and to say thank you for your valiant effort during distance learning. Remember to be kind to those around you, be kind to your mom and dads, and be kind to your brothers and sisters, and to also be empathetic to their needs and feelings during this time, as this is hard for a lot of us. To also be flexible as things continue to just change and evolve around us. We miss you, you matter, and we can't wait to see you guys again. And no matter what happens, be proud of yourself, be proud of your resilience, and be proud of your ability to adapt to these extreme circumstances. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay amazing. Hi everyone, it's Miss Olam. I wanted to give a quick shout out to Mrs. Wilm, Mrs. Santa Maria, Mrs. Mares. Mrs. Baharas, Mr. Sabino, Mr. Perez, Mr. Jose, Mrs. Ariana, Arilano, and if there's anyone I forgot, big shout out to everybody that has been helping us. I have five seconds to do this, and I just want to let you know you are all appreciated and miss you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Marshall, how you guys doing? I miss you guys. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. I'll see you guys soon. Woohoo! Go old school, new school at AESD. Go Orange Grove Tigers! Hi, Press Pandas. I miss you guys and hope you guys are safe. And to my sixth graders, a special shout out. I wish you guys all the best in junior high. Hello, guys. I hope everybody's doing well. We're, we're missing you here. Hopefully you'll be back soon. Bye, guys. 
Hi Roosevelt Scholars, it's Miss Casillas here. I just wanted to give you guys a shout out, say hello, say that I miss you and I hope you're reading. Let's go Roosevelt! Hey guys, it's Miss Edwards, one year school psychologist at Betsy Ross, and I'm here to share my head and talent, which is photography. Um, my dad first got me into photography when I was younger, and I've been really into it ever since. Heather, I just so you see, I'm adjusting the teams because Sabrina use, said that it was super uh, easy for her to um, update the um, site, so I, I am assigning a few to her, but I'm also putting our names really know when you're gonna come across in the really cl beautiful. So I've actually even been taking pictures now um, when I go on my walks during quarantine. So I really recommend is keeping your eyes open because you never know when you're going to come across something really beautiful um, and you know it's just really cool and you can capture it as your eye sees it so this is one of my favorite pictures here um, that I've taken and I've put together a couple more for you guys to look at and I'm really proud of my work so I really hope you guys enjoy it bye hello sunkissed saber cats miss Ruby here I just want to say how proud I am of all of you for logging in every day and joining your teachers for some distant learning. Now I also want to send a shout out to Matthew and all the students in Ms. Putz and Ms. Santiago's classroom, as well as the students that helped Matthew and I in Ms. Vieira and Ms. Cromer's classroom. Thank you so much, we miss you and we can't wait to see you soon. But one more thing. We want to congratulate all the sixth graders for all your accomplishments this year. Although we can't celebrate with you personally, we'll be cheering you on from our home. Someone's ready for summer. <laughs> we'll see you soon, Sunkiss Saber Cats. Goodbye. Hi, Westmont staff and students, I miss you. Uh, do something memorable during quarantine, like because I'm a Westmont Pride, I cook. I uh, sweep the floor, I wash the dishes, do it for your mom and dad, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna love it. It's something to remember during quarantine. Love you all, bye. Hi Barton Bees, this is Miss D saying hello. Hope everyone is doing well, and I hope to see you guys all soon. Hi Edison students, I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy, and your families as well. I miss you all so much. I miss your little faces and your smiling faces. And I just, I really miss you all. And I will uh, see you soon. I look forward to seeing you and you have a wonderful summer, okay? Love you all. Good luck, Miss Amador. We hope you win the game show. And to all of our Franklin scholars, we miss you so much and hope you're all doing well. Hi, classified staff, I miss you. Move on to the next Go. question. Woo! Woo! Oh, we didn't do the bonus question. Okay, have a nice day. Let's do the bonus question. Hello, Anaheim Elementary Familia. Uh, my name's Hennessy. I'm an instructional aide at Thomas Jefferson Elementary. Hey, hey. I just want to give a huge shout out to all our classified employees out there um, and to remind you that you are essential to our teachers, our students, and to our district. Therefore, take this time to just take a deep breath, remain strong, and pour onto yourselves more patience, love, and dedication. So when we come back, we are ready to pour onto others. With that said, thank you so much for all your hard work and hope to see you soon. Take care. Hi, I just wanna say thank you, Lincoln Lions, um, to staff, teachers, admin, um, thank you for all that you've done. Um, I know it's hard work and we appreciate you. Thank you. Hey Lincoln staff, we miss you and I, we appreciate everything you guys have done for us this year. I know it's been hard, but we will get through this and hope for a better year. Miss you all and hope to see you soon. Bye. Hi Lincoln Lions, this is Claudia from the front office. Just wanna say how proud I am for working so hard at home. I know it's difficult, but can't wait to see you guys soon. Bye. Oh, Lincoln Lions, I hope you guys are having a safe and fun days. I know it's hard, but we will all get through this. 
We miss you and hope to see you all next year. Bye. Good afternoon, Loera. How are you all doing? Hope you're all doing well and staying safe during this time. Wanted to wish you luck. Hope to see everybody soon. Hi, Madison Scholars. It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you don't stop. No importa que tan lento avances, siempre y cuando no te detengas. Hey, is this thing on? How's it going, Knights? This is Mr. G or BHA, and everyone at Man just wanted to say how much we truly miss each and every single one of you, and to say thank you for your valiant effort during distance learning. Remember to be kind to those around you, be kind to your mom and dads, and be kind to your brothers and sisters, and to also be empathetic to their needs and feelings during this time, as this is hard for a lot of us. To also be flexible as things continue to just change and evolve around us. We miss you, you matter, and we can't wait to see you guys again. And no matter what happens, be proud of yourself, be proud of your resilience, and be proud of your ability to adapt to these extreme circumstances. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay amazing. Hi everyone, it's Miss Olam. I wanted to give a quick shout out to Mrs. Wilm, Mrs. Santa Maria, Mrs. Mares, Mrs. Baharas, Mr. Sabino, Mr. Perez, Mr. Jose, Mrs. Ariana, Arilano, and if there's anyone I forgot, Big shout out to everybody that has been helping us. I have five seconds to do this, and I just want to let you know you are all appreciated and miss you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Marshall. How you guys doing? I miss you guys. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. I'll see you guys soon. Woohoo! Go old school, new school at AESD. Go Orange Grove Tigers! Hi, Price Pandas. I miss you guys and hope you guys are safe. And to my sixth graders, a special shout out. I wish you guys all the best in junior high. Hello, guys. I hope everybody's doing well. We're, we're missing you here. Hopefully, you'll be back soon. Bye, guys. Hi, Roosevelt Scholars. It's Miss Casillas here. I just wanted to give you guys a shout out, say hello, say that I miss you and I hope you're reading. Let's go, Roosevelt. Hey guys, it's Miss Edwards, one year school psychologist at Betsy Ross. And I'm here to share my head and talent, which is photography. Um, my dad first got me into photography when I was younger and I've been really into it ever since. I either use my iPhone or I use uh, my Nikon to take photos. Um, I take photos all around the world. You never really know when you're gonna come across something really beautiful, so I've actually even been taking pictures now um, when I go on my walks during quarantine. So I really recommend just keeping your eyes open because you never know when you're gonna come across something really beautiful. Um, and you know, it's just really cool and you can capture it as your eye sees it. So this is one of my favorite pictures here um, that I've taken and I've put together a couple more for you guys to look at and I'm really proud of my work so I really hope you guys enjoy it. Bye. Hello Sunkissed Saber Cats, Miss Ruby here. I just want to say how proud I am of all of you for logging in every day and joining your teachers for some distant learning. Now I also want to send a shout out to Matthew and all the students in Miss Putts and Miss Santiago's classroom, as well as the students that helped Matthew and I in Miss Figuera and Miss Cromer's classroom. Thank you so much. We miss you and we can't wait to see you soon. But one more thing. We want to congratulate all the sixth graders for all your accomplishments this year. Although we can't celebrate with you personally, we'll be cheering you on from our home. Someone's ready for summer. <laughs> we'll see you soon, Sun Kids, favorite cat. Goodbye. Hi, Westmont staff and students, I miss you. Uh, do something memorable during quarantine, like because I'm a Westmont Pride, I cook. I uh, sweep the floor, I wash the dishes, do it for your mom and dad, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna love it. It's something to remember during quarantine. Love you all, bye. Hi Barton Bees, this is Miss D saying hello. Hope everyone is doing well, and I hope to see you guys all soon. Hi Edison students, I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy, and your families as well. I miss you all so much. I miss your little faces and your smiling faces. And I just, 
I really miss you all, and I will uh, see you soon. I look forward to seeing you, and you have a wonderful summer, okay? Love you all. Good luck, Miss Emma girl. We hope you win the game show. And to all of our Franklin scholars, we miss you so much and hope you're all doing well. Hi, class. I miss you. Move on to the next question. instructional aid at Thomas Jefferson Elementary. Hey, hey. I just want to give a huge shout out to all our classified employees out there um, and to remind you that you are essential to our teachers, our students, and to our district. Therefore, take this time to just take a deep breath, remain strong, and pour onto yourselves more patience, love, and dedication. So when we come back, we are ready to pour onto others. With that said, thank you so much for all your hard work and hope to see you soon. Take care. Hi, I just want to say thank you, Lincoln Lions, um, to staff, teachers, and men. Um, thank you for all that you've done. Um, I know it's hard work and appreciate you. Thank you. Hey Lincoln staff, we miss you and I, we appreciate everything you guys have done for us this year. I know it's been hard but we will get through this and hope for a better year. Miss you all and hope to see you soon. Bye. Hi Lincoln Lions, this is Claudia from the front office. Just want to say how proud I am for working so hard at home. I know it's difficult, but can't wait to see you guys soon. Bye. Oh, Lincoln Lions, I hope you guys are having a safe and fun days. I know it's hard, but we will all get through this. We miss you and hope to see you all next year. Bye. Good afternoon, Loera. How are you all doing? Hope you're all doing well and staying safe during this time. Wanted to wish you luck. Hope to see everybody soon. Hi, Madison Scholars. It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you don't stop. No importa que tan lento avances, siempre y cuando no te detengas. Hey, is this thing on? How's it going, Knights? This is Mr. G or BHA, and everyone at MAN just wanted to say how much we truly miss each and every single one of you, and to say thank you for your valiant effort during distance learning. Remember to be kind to those around you, be kind to your mom and dads, and be kind to your brothers and sisters, and to also be empathetic to their needs and feelings during this time, as this is hard for a lot of us. To also be flexible as things continue to just change and evolve around us. We miss you, you matter, and we can't wait to see you guys again. And no matter what happens, be proud of yourself, be proud of your resilience, and be proud of your ability to adapt to these extreme circumstances. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay amazing. Hi everyone, it's Miss Olam. I wanted to give a quick shout out to Mrs. Wilm, Mrs. Santa Maria, Mrs. Mares. Mrs. Baharas, Mr. Sabino, Mr. Perez, Mr. Jose, Mrs. Ariana, Arilano, and if there's anyone I forgot, big shout out to everybody that has been helping us. I have five seconds to do this, and I just want to let you know you are all appreciated and miss you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Marshall, how you guys doing? I miss you guys. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. I'll see you guys soon. Woohoo! Go old school, new school at AESD. Go Orange Grove Tigers! Hi, Price Pandas. I miss you guys and hope you guys are safe. And to my sixth graders, a special shout out. I wish you guys all the best in junior high. Hello, guys. I hope everybody's doing well. We're, we're missing you here. Hopefully, you'll be back soon. Bye, guys. Hi Roosevelt Scholars, it's Miss Casillas here. I just wanted to give you guys a shout out, say hello, say that I miss you and I hope you're reading. Let's go Roosevelt. 
Hey guys, it's Miss Edwards, one year school psychologist at Betsy Ross, and I'm here to share my hidden talent, which is photography. Um, my dad first got me into photography when I was younger, and I've been really into it ever since. I either use my iPhone or I use uh, my Nikon to take photos. Um, I take photos all around the world. You never really know when you're gonna come across something really beautiful, so I've actually even been taking pictures now um, when I go on my walks during quarantine, so I really recommend just keeping your eyes open because you never know when you're gonna come across something really beautiful. Um, and, you know, it's just really cool and you can capture it as your eye sees it. So this is one of my favorite pictures here um, that I've taken and I've put together a couple more for you guys to look at and I'm really proud of my work, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. Bye. Hello, Sunkiss Saber Cats. Miss Ruby here. I just want to say how proud I am of all of you for logging in every day and joining your teachers for some distant learning. Now, I also want to send a shout out to Matthew and all the students in Miss Putz and Miss Santiago's classroom as well as the students that helped Matthew and I in Miss Vieira and Miss Cromer's classroom. Thank you so much, we miss you and we can't wait to see you soon. But one more thing. We want to congratulate all the sixth graders for all your accomplishments this year. Although we can't celebrate with you personally, we'll be cheering you on from our home. Someone's ready for summer. <laughs> We'll see you soon, Sunkiss, Saber Cats. Goodbye. Hi, Westmont staff and students, I miss you. Uh, do something memorable during quarantine, like because I'm a Westmont Pride, I cook, I uh, sweep the floor, I wash the dishes, do it for your mom and dad, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna love it. Uh, something to remember during quarantine. Love you all, bye. Hi Barton Bees, this is Miss D saying hello. Hope everyone is doing well and I hope to see you guys all soon. Hi Edison students, I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy and your families as well. I miss you all so much. I miss your little faces and your smiling faces and I just, I really miss you all. And I will uh, see you soon and look forward to seeing you and you have a wonderful summer, okay? Love you all. Good luck, Miss Amador. We hope you win the game show. And to all of our Franklin scholars, we miss you so much and hope you're all doing well. Hi, classified staff. I miss you. Move on to the next Go. question. Woo! instructional aide at Thomas Jefferson Elementary. Hey, hey. I just want to give a huge shout out to all our classified employees out there um, and to remind you that you are essential to our teachers, our students, and to our district. Therefore, take this time to just take a deep breath, remain strong, and pour onto yourselves more patience, love, and dedication. So when we come back, we are ready to pour onto others. With that said, thank you so much for all your hard work and hope to see you soon. Take care. Hi, I just want to say thank you, Lincoln Lions, um, to staff, teachers, admin. Um, thank you for all that you've done. Um, I know it's hard work and we appreciate you. Thank you. Hey, Lincoln staff. We miss you, and I, we appreciate everything you guys have done for us this year. You know, it's been hard, but we will get through this and hope for a better year. Miss you all, and hope to see you soon. Bye. Hi, Lincoln Lions. This is Claudia from the front office. Just want to say how proud I am for working so hard at home. I know it's difficult, but can't wait to see you guys soon. Bye. Oh, Lincoln Lions. I hope you guys are having a safe and fun days. I know it's hard, but we will all get through this. We miss you and hope to see you all next year. Bye. Good afternoon, Loera. How are you all doing? 
Hope you're all doing well and staying safe during this time. Wanted to wish you luck. Hope to see everybody soon. Hi, medicine scholars. It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you don't stop. No importa que tan lento avances, siempre y cuando no te detengas. Hey, is this thing on? How's it going, Knights? This is Mr. G or BHA, and everyone at MAN just wanted to say how much we truly miss each and every single one of you, and to say thank you for your valiant effort during distance learning. Remember to be kind to those around you, be kind to your mom and dads, and be kind to your brothers and sisters, and to also be empathetic to their needs and feelings during this time, as this is hard for a lot of us. To also be flexible as things continue to just change and evolve around us. We miss you, you matter, and we can't wait to see you guys again. And no matter what happens, be proud of yourself, be proud of your resilience, and be proud of your ability to adapt to these extreme circumstances. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay amazing. Hi everyone, it's Miss Olam. I wanted to give a quick shout out to Mrs. Wilm, Mrs. Santa Maria, Mrs. Mares. Mrs. Baharas, Mr. Sabino, Mr. Perez, Mr. Jose, Mrs. Ariana, Arilano, and if there's anyone I forgot, big shout out to everybody that has been helping us. I have five seconds to do this, and I just want to let you know you are all appreciated and miss you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Marshall, how you guys doing? I miss you guys. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. I'll see you guys soon. Woohoo! Go old school, new school at AESD. Go Orange Grove Tigers! Hi, Price Pandas. I miss you guys and hope you guys are safe. And to my sixth graders, a special shout out. I wish you guys all the best in junior high. Hello, guys. I hope everybody's doing well. We're, we're missing you here. Hopefully, you'll be back soon. Bye, guys. Hi, Roosevelt Scholars. It's Miss Casillas here. I just wanted to give you guys a shout out. Say hello. Say that I miss you and I hope you're reading. Let's go, Roosevelt. Hey, guys. It's Miss Edwards, one year school psychologist at Betsy Ross. And I'm here to share my head and tongue. All right, welcome. This is our last episode of the year of old school, new school. We are so excited to have all our schools here. Schools, go ahead and unmute and say hi to all the kids at home. Hey guys, it's Kamala. <laughs> 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 that tries to sneak in that last shout out yeah go ahead and mute <laughs> um so all right this is our last week of old school new school we will be coming back next year we're going to take a break for the summer just like all our kids and our staff are um so uh thank you for joining us uh this week a little bit special we have a bunch of shout outs for our sixth graders who are promoting this year or in a few days, actually. So after every bonus question, we're going to play a series of shout outs. So every shout out we got will be played today. So you don't have to worry about um, whether or not your school gets a shout out or a bonus question correct in order to hear your school's shout out. So just a reminder of how it's played. We're going to spin a wheel. The wheel will land on a school. The representative from that school will choose a category in an era, whether they want old or new school. We're going to ask a question. Every school has a chance to answer the question for five points. I'll have a full minute. And then after that, we're going to read out a bonus question. Bonus questions are worth two points, and only one school can get the bonus question right. The bonus question this week, like last week, we're going to read out loud. We're not going to put it on the screen. So if your school knows the answer quicker, then we can actually read the entire question. You know that you just drop a, a, a letter or a number in chat to hold your spot. We'll stop. We'll call on you. Unmute. Answer it. If you're right, awesome. If you're not, well, then we're going to give another school a chance to answer. And then also another reminder that on the uh, board are two mix up questions, which means that we simply have scrambled the words, the letters in a word and the first school to write the correct spelling down and put it up on their screen will win. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to play until four o'clock. So we've got about 28 minutes to play. We're going to go ahead and give the wheel a spin here. And 
Gower. Gower was my last example as we were prepping everybody and it ends up being the one that we're working on. So Gower, go ahead and unmute and choose a category for us, please. I would like to go with old school music. All right, old school music. And right away, we're starting with a mix up. So a reminder, the mix up means that only one school will get this question right. And you're gonna write it down on the paper and the first one to hold it up will get the question right. And the clue for you is hair metal, old school music, hair metal. Here is the mix up. I see Marshall with Van Halen. Marshall with Van Halen. Great job, Marshall. Marshall gets five points for the mix-up for Van Halen. Woo! <laughs> We're going to go ahead and play our first shout-out. First shout-outs for... Hey, Barton B, it's Mrs. Mullen, wanting to wish you a happy promotion day. And we're proud of you, and we can't wait to see you on June 3rd on your promotion. See you later. Hi, Edison Eagle sixth graders, it's Mrs. Williams. And Miss Marstead, we just wanted to congratulate you on finishing sixth grade and moving on to seventh grade. We know that you're gonna do awesome next year. I was so blessed to be your teacher this year, and I just am super proud of all the sixth graders here at Edison. Please come back and visit us. We miss you guys so, so much. See you soon. Bye. This goes out to the Loera class of 2020. You guys rock. You've been through the most. You know how to do this. Go out there and be good humans. Hi, sixth graders at Horace Mann Elementary. This is Mr. Sifkovich, your school counselor, wishing you a wonderful congratulations for what you have just accomplished. I am so excited for you for your next chapter. You have been amazing man nights at your time at Horace Mann. I feel so lucky, so honored to have been your school counselor. I have seen you grow so much over these six years or seven years that you have been at Horace Mann. You have come in and you have grown. You are kind, you are compassionate, you are loving, you are caring, you are hardworking, you are great, great examples of Horace Mann Knights. I can't believe that this time has come. I know it's been a little bit different and we wish it could be different and we could all shake your hands and say, and say congratulations in person, but man, we are so excited for you nonetheless. Please have a wonderful summer, have an amazing time in junior high. And what do I always tell you? that every year school gets better. You're gonna love junior high. You're gonna love middle school. It's so fun. And then it's high school and then it's college and then you are adults like me. I can't believe it, but man, I am so happy for you. Congratulations, everybody. Hey, class of 2020 sixth graders, it's your teachers here. We're here to send you off. We wanted to take a moment to say hi and wish you the very best in your uh, future journey. We are really going to miss you all so much, and we really appreciate all the work that you've been this year. We're really proud of how well you've been rolling with this, and keep it up. I'm really going to miss you guys and making a lot of different interesting sounds in the music class, but I wish you the best. You guys, you guys are going to rock this. You are going to go on to junior high and be heroes. I love you all. Best of luck, boys and girls. Please keep in touch. We miss you. Bye. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, sixth graders. Class of 2020, Roosevelt Rocks. Woo! And all right, now, now we're back. Uh, everybody can hear me except for everyone on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed those shout outs from everybody. We're going to go ahead and spin the wheel again. And right now we do have Marshall in first place with five points. Let's give it another spin. And Revere, Revere, go ahead and unmute and choose a category and an era, please. Um, I'll go with movies 
new. All right, movies news school. Remember, you're going to have a whole minute to answer this question. You don't need to rush. This movie tells the story of the only surviving ancestor to Alexander the Great's dog. You've got a minute to figure it out. You've got kids in a Google Doc that can help you out. You've got a minute to figure this out. And as always with the bonus questions, if you know it, or, or with the regular question, if you know it early, start asking in the doc everything they might know about this movie. This movie tells the story of the only surviving ancestor to Alexander the Great's dog. Remember, if you know it, you don't want to hold it up just yet. You've got about 45 seconds. We had a little trouble with the timer, so you get a couple extra seconds on this one. If you do know it, you want to write down everything you know about this movie. The kids can definitely help you with this one. All right, you have 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, go ahead and chin it. And the answer is Scoob. The answer is Scoob, the new Scooby-Doo movie that just came out last week, Scoob. So go ahead and hold it up. If you got it correct, hold it up for our judges so they can see it. We'll take Scoob with and without the exclamation point. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and um, if they said Scooby-Doo, unfortunately, we cannot take Scooby-Doo because there are a lot of Scooby-Doo movies. This one is very specifically called Scoob. Um, so we will take Scoob. Miss Garcia, you want to show your whole paper for us? <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, Scoob. All right, we're going to go ahead and go to the bonus question. Remember, bonus question is read verbally. It is not shown on the screen for you. So in the movie Scoob, and according to Greek mythology, what is the name of the three-headed dog? Uh, okay, Haley Bowman. Haley, go ahead and unmute and answer the question. The name of the three-headed dog is Cerberus. That is correct, Cerberus. Bonus points for, I'm sorry, uh, Ms. Bowman, who, what school are you representing today? Oh, I'm here for Stoddard Stars. What, what? Nice, Stoddard Stars get two bonus points. Awesome job, Stoddard. All right, we're gonna go ahead and play another shout out. Way to go, Franklin sixth grade and all of our promoting sixth grade students. Hello, sixth grade scholars. This is Mrs. Smith from Gower Elementary, and I'm here today to say congratulations on your graduation, and good job, you guys. Keep it going. We believe in you. We know you can succeed. Just remember that. We believe in you, okay? Go out there. Go out into the world and just hit it. You go, okay? Bye for now. See you later, great musicians. Hey, Jefferson Eagles, big shout out to the sixth graders class of 2020. Go Jefferson Eagles. Hi Mustangs. I hope everyone's safe and healthy at home with your loved ones. I wanted to send out a special shout out to our sixth grade Mustangs from Mrs. Rivera's class, Mrs. Klinkenberg's class, and Miss Lime Cooler's class. We're super sad to see you go, but we're excited for what's ahead. Congratulations on your promotion. And I'm super excited to see you guys next week when you stop by to pick up your materials on Wednesday or Thursday. Go Mustangs. Yay, Westmont sixth graders, you made it. You did it, it's over and you're on to junior high. Good luck. All right, we're back. We're gonna go ahead and give it another spin. Right now we have a very many multi-school tie for first place. Um, with five points. So we're going to go ahead and give it another spin. We're going to have another school choose. 
and it landed on Roosevelt. Roosevelt, go ahead and unmute. Choose a category and an era for us. Old school. Okay, Movies. and then what's the category? Movies. Say it one more time. Old school what? Movies. Movies. All right. Old school movies. And it is a regular question. You have a full minute to answer it. This car could take you any win if it hit 88 miles per hour. This car could take you any win if it hit 88 miles per hour. You have a full minute to answer it. If you know it right away, you should be thinking about everything you might know about this movie. Pay careful attention to what the question is asking. The question is asking this car could take you any win if it hit 88 miles per hour. Thirty seconds left. Fifteen seconds left. Okay, go ahead and chin it for us in three, two, one. And the answer is DeLorean. Yes, we're looking for DeLorean. Uh, if you said Back to the Future and also had DeLorean on there, that's totally fine. But we do need to see the word DeLorean. So go ahead and keep it up there just a little bit so the judges can see. DeLorean, DeLorean, DeLorean. All right. Thank you, guys. We're going to move on to the bonus question. Remember, the bonus question is worth two points. The minute I start reading the question, if you think you know the answer, you can drop a letter in chat. The minute I see a letter or a number in chat, I'm going to stop reading. So you want to make sure you don't drop in until you know the answer. What is the name of the town in which Back to the Future takes place? Uh, Maciel, I see you first. Maciel, go ahead and unmute and answer. It's Hill Valley. It is Hill Valley. Great job. Two points. Uh, Ponderosa, is that who you're representing today? Ponderosa. Two points for Ponderosa. Awesome. All right. Let's go ahead and have another shout out. Way to go, Edison, sixth graders. We are so very proud of all of you for your accomplishments. And we are so proud that you are going to be awesome seventh graders next year and will do great things. Class of 2020, hello, this is Mrs. Torres. I just wanted to say congratulations and tell you how proud we are of you as you move on from Gower to middle school. We know this is a big week for you and your families and none of us expected promotion to look this way, but we still do have big hopes for you and big wishes. Middle school is a very exciting time. It's a time where you take multiple classes and you can take uh, play some sports and take elective classes. And in doing so, we hope you find something that truly interests you and fi you find a passion that will set you on a path that will fulfill you in the future. As Gators, we hope that you remember the little things that we taught you and maybe some of the bigger things like being responsible, respectful, and safe. If you ever find yourself in a situation that is a little uneasy or uncertain, lean on one of those. It will help the situation pass smoothly. Middle school is a very exciting time, as I said. Remember, as you venture forward, find the good in the world. There is still good out there. Find it and make it. And most of all, be good humans. We wish you the best. We will miss you. Sixth graders, you did it. Congratulations. Go sixth graders. We are so proud of you and we miss you so much and wish you such, such great success and happiness in your new coming year. Yes, sixth graders, we can't tell you how much we miss you. We love you so much. And even Henry the Bear is here with us to say he misses you guys too. You brought 
the smiles to our faces on a daily basis. We've missed you, but we know we're going to hear nothing but great things about you next year. Congratulations, Panthers! Go sixth graders! Woo! All right, we're back. We're going to go ahead and hit the spinner again, and we're going to see which school is up next. And it's Henry. Henry, go ahead, unmute. Choose a category and an era for us, please. Television new. All right, television new school. All right. In what animated show is the main character half gem, half human? In what animated show... Is the main character half gen, half human? You have one minute. If you knew it right away, awesome. Now start in your dock with your kids figuring out everything you might know about this show. You have about 15 seconds left. All right, go ahead and chin it for us in three, two, one. And yes, the answer is Steven Universe. Steven Universe. Judges, I'm going to try to help you out here. It looks like maybe everybody got it right. Da, 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 da. Yep, Steven Universe. Awesome. All right, we're going to move on to the bonus question. Um, Tiffany, can you go ahead and put yours back up real quick so the judge can see? Um, yep, okay. So we got okay, perfect. All right, here we go, bonus question. If you know the bonus question, you're going to drop a single digit into chat to hold your spot. The minute I see that, I'm going to stop reading. Please name one of the crystal gems. Hannah, go ahead and unmute. Hannah, go ahead and unmute and answer. Hi, uh, Garnet. Yes, Garnet is one of the crystal gems. Yes. That's two points. The other two are Amethyst and Pearl. So great job. Two points for Franklin. And I think we have one more group of shout outs. Let me check real quick. Yes, we do. We have one more group of shout outs and then we're going to play more when we come back. Woohoo! Congratulations, sixth grade Gower Gators. Hi, all Street Jaguars. This is Kim here. And I want to send a special shout out, especially to our sixth grade students for promoting and say that I miss you guys. And I'm so proud of how you persevered. And I know that you guys are going to do amazing things in the future because you guys are awesome. Okay. <laughs> Hi, sixth graders, Betsy Ross Roadrunners. So proud of you. I cannot wait to see all the great things you're going to do in your future. And I wish you all the best next year in junior high. My class, especially Miss Guillory's class, shout out to you. I miss you all so much. I hope you have a great summer and rock it in seventh grade. And to all the sixth graders in the district, congratulations. We're proud of you. Keep up the great work. Congratulations, sixth graders, or should we say seventh graders. Way to go. Wishing you the best of luck in junior high. Hi, this is Mrs. Wilson from Betsy Ross Elementary. I just wanted to give a great big shout out to my sixth grade students and let you know that I miss you all. And I wanted to say congratulations on your promotion next week. I hope you have a great summer and best wishes for next year in seventh grade and beyond. Congratulations. Hi, sixth graders. Congratulations. You made it. It was a challenging but historical year. No problem. Congratulations, Edison Eagles 2020. Aloha. Hi. Shout out to all the sixth graders. We miss you guys. Good luck next year in junior high. Thank you. 
take care. Hi, Sunken Saber Cats. We miss you guys. We look forward to seeing all of our students in August. And I just want to congratulate all the sixth graders. I wish you the best of luck in junior high. Take care and visit us soon. Okay, that was our last group of shout outs for the night. We're going to go ahead and spin the wheel. We've got about another eight minutes left to play. And it landed on Ross. Ross, go ahead and unmute and choose a category and era for us, please. I would like old school music. Old school music. Uh, I think we already did old school music. Oh, sorry. Okay. No worries. Um, old school television. Okay, old school television. And the question is, this character's catchphrase was, did I do that? You've got a minute to figure it out. If you know it right away, you may want to do everything you know about this character, the show. You've got about 30 seconds left. All right, you got about 15 seconds left. All right, go ahead and chin it in three, two, one. And yes, the answer is Urkel. Steve Urkel, Stephen Urkel, Urkel by itself. Steve Urkel from Family Matters. Yes, definitely. As long as you have the word Urkel somewhere, we're going to give you the points for this one. Pull it up for a couple more seconds for the judges. All right, I think we're good. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the bonus question. I'm gonna put a little divider there. The actor who played Urkel, Jaleel White, is most known for... All right, Miss Gilroy, go ahead and unmute. I went too fast. Um, okay, I'm just gonna guess. Um, he was most known for being a nerd. That might be the case, but that is not the answer to the question. Mrs. Estrada, go ahead and unmute and answer. Okay, did you say Ms. Estrada? Pass Laurel, ha ha ha. Yes, I did, you were second in. She oh. said pass, and then she deleted it. All right, we're going to go have to go on to Mr. Munoz. Yes, I'm sorry. It's okay, Mr. Munoz. After that, we're going to read the question again, and we're going to draw another line in the sand. I hit start too soon. I apologize. Oh, you guys went too quick. All right, I'm going to start again. Stop putting letters in. We're going to start again. Here we go. The actor who plays Urkel, Jaleel White, is perhaps best known for that role, but he is also known for doing the voice... All right, uh, Hennessy, go ahead and unmute and answer. Um, for his annoying voice? I guess it is annoying, I believe, but that is not the answer to the question. Uh, Ms. Walker, go ahead and unmute and answer the question. Sonic the Hedgehog. That is correct, Sonic the Hedgehog, yes. yes. And for many of us, that is what we know Julia White most for, is Sonic the Hedgehog, yes. So two points for Franklin, great job. Great job, Franklin. All right, so that puts Franklin currently in first place with 24 points, and we've got a multi-school tie for two, and we have three minutes left, so we're gonna do at least one more question. We'll see how many we can get in. Probably just one, let's give it another spin. 
and it landed on Price. Price, go ahead and unmute and choose a category and an era for us. Whatever you want. Hello, I will do uh, something I love to read, books. All right, old school or new school? Let's go with old. All right, old school. Remember, everybody has a chance on this one. You've got a full minute. In this book, a four-year-old is jealous of his sister, Tootsie, and is nervous about starting kindergarten. What is the name of this book? Four-year-old is jealous of his sister, Tootsie, and is nervous about starting kindergarten. Give us the name of the book. You've got a minute. If you know the answer right away, you should probably start figuring out everything you know about the characters, the book, the author, whatever we might ask for that bonus question. All right, you got about 10 seconds left. I'm going to need you to chin it in three, two, one. And the answer is Super Fudge. Yes, the book Super Fudge. Um, I think everybody has Super Fudge judges. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Looks like it. Yep, looks like we're good. All right. We're going to now ask the bonus question. Remember, you can just drop in a letter anytime you're ready to answer once I start reading the question. What is the name of Fudge's pet bird? Uh, Miss Bowman, go ahead and unmute. Sorry, went too fast. No one knew that one. Okay. All right, uh, Carolina, go ahead and unmute. Okay, got it. Uncle Feather? Uncle Feather is correct. <laughs> oh my God. Yay, All Marshall. Right. It is technically 359, which means we have time for one more question. So we're going to do it. We're going to push it. One more question. And we have Franklin in first with 29 points. Let's give it a spin. So we're right at four o'clock as I clicked on it. So this is definitely the last one. Hey, it landed on price again. Price, do you want to choose or do you want to give it up for another school to choose? Give it up to someone else. Hey, we're going to share it out with somebody else. Awesome. Which school would you like to let choose the category? Uh, uh, Gower. All right, Gower, go ahead and choose the category and the era for us. Category would be games old. All right. Games old. And it's a mix up, which means only one school is going to be able to get this right. Remember, you're going to write, you're going to see a word all mixed up. You're going to write down the correct order of the letters. You're going to hold it up to the screen. The first one to do it will get the five points. This could be the difference between first and second. The clue is Nintendo. And here is your mixed up word. Uh, Maciel from Ponderosa is correct. It is Princess Peach. All right. Great job. Let's go ahead and go back and we're going to see what our final score is for the week. And Ponderosa, you gained a lot of ground in those last couple of rounds, but it was not enough. Franklin is in first place this week with 29 points, followed by a two-way tie between Marshall and Ponderosa. Great job. Hey, this is the last time we're doing this for a while until we come back next year. So schools, why don't you unmute and say bye to all our sixth graders and wish them luck as they promote next week. Bye, kids. Hi, Brandies. This is Miss D saying hello. Hope everyone is doing well. And I hope to see you guys all soon. Hi, Edison students. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy and your families as well. 
I miss you all so much. I miss your little faces and your smiling faces. And I just, I really miss you all. And I will uh, see you soon. I look forward to seeing you and you have a wonderful summer, okay? Love you all. Good luck, Miss Amador. We hope you win the game show. And to all of our Franklin scholars, we miss you so much and hope you're all doing well. Hi, classified staff. I miss you. Move on to the next Go. question. Woo! Familia. Um, my name's Hennessy's. I'm an instructional aide at Thomas Jefferson Elementary. Hey, 